Welcome back to Visual Nova. Today we're diving into an exciting 3D camera fly-through animation. I'll show you step-by-step -step how to bring your comments and images to life in Fusion, add smooth camera movements, and make everything feel cinematic. So first, we dive into Timeline Overview and Rounded Comments Cards. Here you can see on my timeline that I've placed a few comments cards, a thunderstorm sky footage layer, and a low-angle building picture. I took this building photo into Photoshop and cropped the top area. The original picture looked like this. Now let's start with the first comment card. You can see its corners look a bit harsh, so we'll round them off. Go to the effects panel on the left. Now click open FX and search for transform. Drag and drop it onto the first comment. Now on the right side in the inspector, zoom out a little. Scroll down to image adjustment, enable crop uncrop, and then increase edge rounding. I'll keep mine around 0 0.163. Add a little bit of edge softness as well. That looks good. Now to apply this rounded style to all comment cards on the timeline easily, hold shift and enable them on the video track. Select the first clip and press Ctrl plus C to copy the transform attributes. Then select all comment cards and press Alt plus V. The paste attributes window will pop up. Just check plugins and click apply. Now you'll see that the rounded edges have been applied to all the comment cards, quick and simple. Next, delete the building picture and sky footage from the timeline. Select all comment cards, right-click and choose new fusion clip. And now, we move into the fusion panel. Fusion cleanup and workspace setup. Here you can see we have a lot of nodes in our fusion panel. So first, let's clean everything up. We'll delete all the merge nodes and the background node, because we don't need any of them for this effect. Now we're left with just two things on the node tree, our media out node and the comments cards node. This keeps the workspace clean and makes the next steps much easier. Now let's move on to the 3D scene setup. From the media pool, drag your sky footage into the fusion node graph and connect it to the media out node. Open it in the viewer and you'll see this is the footage we'll use to build our 3D setup. Next, disconnect the footage from media out because now we'll convert everything into a 3D environment. Add the following nodes and connect them in this order. Merge 3D. Renderer 3D. Then connect Renderer 3D back into the Media Out node. Now add a Camera 3D node and connect it into the Merge 3D. Switch the left viewer to the Merge 3D view. This lets you see the camera's perspective. Hold Alt plus mouse scroll to orbit and explore different angles. Move the camera backwards on the Z-axis, and you'll notice in the right viewer the footage is zooming out. Select the Camera 3D node. Go to the Inspector, and increase the focal length from 35mm to 100mm. This creates more depth in the scene so all the comment cards can reveal nicely in 3D. You can adjust this distance based on your scene. Now go back to the Media Pool and drag in your building image. Attach an Image Plane 3D to it, and finally connect that image plane 3D into the same merge 3D. Open the transform controls and set its Z-axis to 0.1. Then using the left viewer, pull it slightly forward along the Z-axis. Now you can see how the camera flies from the sky footage down into the building area. This is the start of our 3D reveal shot. And with that, our 3D scene setup is complete. Now we move on to placing the comment cards in 3D space. First, select the Camera 3D node, go to the Transform section on the right, and zoom out slightly on the Z-axis. That looks good. Now place your playhead at the start of the timeline. Pick your first comet. Add an Image Plane 3D node to it, and connect the Image Plane 3D into your main Merge 3D, just like this. Now go to Transform, and set the scale to around 0.029, and the Z-axis to 0.02. Your first comment is placed. Select the camera 3D again and zoom out a little more with the Z axis. Now pick the second comment, add another image plane 3D, and connect it to the merge 3D, same as the first one. Go to transform and reduce the scale again. I'll keep it around 0.029, and set the Z axis back to 0.02. Use the X and Y values to position it where you want. Do the same process for the third comment. Placing the third comment. 
This time I'll slightly increase the scale so it stands out a bit. Then move back to the camera 3D and zoom out once more. Continue this process for all the comets, place all 7 of them on the sky layer one by one. While I'm fast forwarding this part, you can see I'm keeping equal spacing, matching the camera angle and making sure every comment sits naturally in the scene. Just follow the same pattern, and your full layout will come together smoothly. Now we have two comments left which will be placed on the building image. Now placing comments on the building. First, create some space in your fusion node tree. Take the second last comment, add an image plane 3D, and connect it to the building's image plane 3D setup. Now go to transform. Reduce the z-axis to about 0.025, and decrease the scale. Use x-axis to move it towards the left wall, and add some y rotation to make it look like it's sticking naturally to the wall. Looks good. For the last comment, add image plane 3D again and connect it to the previous merged 3D of the building layer. Adjust the z-axis and scale the same way and then place it on the right side wall. This time, reduce the Y rotation so it matches the angle of the right wall. Now zoom back in with the camera 3D Z axis. You'll notice four cards behind the main subject in the sky. Pull them forward and reposition them properly. We want our camera movement to start at the first comment, and as the camera moves downward, each comment should reveal itself one by one. Now that all the comments are placed correctly, Move along the z-axis until you reach your first comment card. Once we're positioned at the first comment we can move on to the next step, 3D camera movement. Now place the playhead at the very beginning and add a keyframe on the z-axis. Next, move the playhead to the final point and zoom out on the z-axis until all the comments and the building image fit properly inside the viewer window. That's it, the basic movement is done. Now open the spline editor, enable the checkbox for camera 3D and click zoom to fit. Select all the keyframes, press Ctrl plus T and lock the ease out. After that, smooth the ease in like this. Once done, close the spline editor. Now we move on to the next step, cinematic glow pass. Select the first comment node, then press Ctrl plus Shift plus spacebar and search for glow. Select it and add it. Now select the glow node. In the settings on the right, enable color scale. Increase the red scale to maximum. Next, scroll up and reduce the blend value like this. Also lower the glow amount a bit. We'll adjust these settings according to our subject so the visibility stays clear. Now click here and check the before and after. Our comment now has a nice colorful pop-up look. Next, select this glow node and paste it onto the subcomment nodes like this. Hold shift and connect it one by one to each subcomment node exactly as I'm showing. Now look at the right side viewer. All our comments have the glow effect applied. Now we move on to dynamic camera shake. Select the first comment node, then press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar and search for camera shake. Select it and add it. Now select the camera shake node and go to the settings on the right side. Keep the X deviation at 0.0015 and the Y deviation also at 0.0015. Just below that, set the rotation deviation to 0.1. After that, bring the randomness up to 0.2, and lastly, set the speed to 0.1. Now copy this camera shake node and paste it onto all remaining comment nodes. Hold shift and connect it to each comment node one by one, exactly the same process we used for the glow node. Once you're done connecting everything, go back to your edit timeline to preview the final result. Your 3D camera fly-through animation is ready. All right. That's a wrap for today's 3D camera fly-through in Fusion. I hope you enjoyed learning step-by-step -step how to bring your comments and images to life, add smooth camera movements, and make your animation cinematic. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Visual Nova for more Fusion tricks and DaVinci Resolve tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.